I see many evil forces are coming together. Uh, if Paul may be talking about the eschatological evil day. He may be having it in sight. He's saying, having done, we will withstand that evil day. We will win easily. We will say we will win easily. We will win easily. When the testing times comes, when the regime of Antichrist gets inside you in some way, we are praying that it will never come to Sri Lanka. We do not know. We want to ward it off lock, stock and barrel. Will you just stretch your right hand and say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ward off the regime of Antichrist out of our nation. God is my perimeter. God is my boundary. My nation is my poga. The plot of my inheritance. No scepter of iniquity can rest in Jesus name. Let's give a hand clap to Jesus. Armor. Stand therefore having fastened on the belt of truth. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness. And as shoes for your feet. Having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. All this is to move for the gospel of peace. Brothers and sisters we heard the list. That list can be reversed only by the Savior. And Savior walks in our feet. Savior touches in our hands. Savior sees with our eyes. Savior hears with our ears. Savior thinks with our mind. And we have got the mindset of Christ. Will you put your hands on your head? This is my helmet of salvation. My mind is renewed in Christ. Christ in those who see me. Christ in those who hear about me. And my mind is renewed in Christ. <laughs> ha ha ha. My thoughts are Christ filtered. Thoughts that come into me. Thoughts that come out of my mind. Filtered by Christ. That's the helmet of my salvation. I am safe. I am safe. Very safe. No fiery dart of Satan can penetrate my helmet of salvation. Christ is my thinking. Hallelujah. I think Christ. He's my helmet of salvation. Praise the Lord. I am saved. Temptations come. You have heard the saying, a, a crow may go round your head, but don't let it make a nest there. Don't let it make a nest there. Helmet of salvation. And all circumstances take up the shield of faith. With which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation. So of the spirit which is the word of God. Praise the God. And I thought to myself. When I was doing this study. Yesterday, day before. Three, three things are. In Christ by grace. The truth is. Christ. Belt of truth is Christ. Once forever grace and truth came in Jesus Christ. We are in the new covenant. What is the foundation of the new covenant? Just shall live by faith. Shall we say together just shall live by faith. Just shall live by faith. Just shall live by faith. This is the saving truth. That's the belt. Then the breastplate of righteousness. I removed self-righteousness. Will you please remove self-righteousness? I removed self-righteousness. I removed my goodness. I removed my piety. I removed my natural piety. I removed the good thoughts I have about myself. I removed. I put on the breastplate of righteousness of Christ. It has come to me. And then. And then the helmet of salvation. These are fixed items. But the sword of the spirit I had to sharpen every day. You can't say, I got a word in 1989 that no devil will be defeating me. I'm holding on to that word. Not enough brother. Tell your neighbor, not enough brother. Not enough sister. Sword of the spirit has to be daily made. Daily sharpened. The word of God Reading of the word, obedient to the word, applying the word, inflamed by the spirit, sword of the spirit, is a, my sword, 
word of God daily, daily, daily. And for some of us, at least three times a day. For me, hourly, I need to keep this sword. That's the level of my battle. Hourly, hourly. I don't know who will phone me for what need. Then I need to have a sword of the spirit. Will you say sword of the spirit? Greater the ministry, wider the field, more you need the sword of the spirit. The word of revelation, word of knowledge, acting together. Sword of the spirit, word of revelation and word of knowledge have to do in the name much with the sword of the spirit, word of God. The relevant rhema, word of God in Kairos time, sword of the spirit. Then, the preparation of the gospel. That is why we are walking, that is why we have been kept on earth. That we may take the gospel of please. Brothers and sisters, we are doing the book of life. Last, yesterday in our group, we all wrote down three names and we took one name. And, and the felt need of that person. And we practiced Jahan's five finger method of prayer. We said, he is precious in your sight. Will you practice this about someone? Are you thinking of someone? In your groups you may have done it. Even if you have not done it, think of someone for whom salvation must come. Someone on in your oikos, your contact world. He is precious in your sight. Immediately that person's alienation goes off because you have said he's precious. He's already feeling God, but you have said he's precious in you are doing that, aren't you? No comes to his mind. Dark wheels out of his mind. Four finger, dark wheels. Will you point the finger and command those dark wheels out of his mind? Dark wheels out of his mind. Dark wheels out of his mind. And the middle finger, Lord, give me a good place and time to speak to him. A good place and time to bring him for a meeting. Middle finger, place and time. Good place and time. Good place and time. Then the next finger, oh Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Oh Holy Spirit. Now the fourth finger, oh Holy Spirit. Oh Holy Spirit, you are touching his mind, touching his heart. And finally little finger, make use me. To penetrate his hearing. Will you scratch your ear please? Penetrate his hearing. Here. Will you dig your ear a little? Penet use me. Use me. In Jesus name. This is why we are walking. This is why the Lord has kept us on earth. Oh. Thank you Holy Spirit. I think I am almost done. Almost done. And the hell and the Hiranti said. What a good thing. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. <laughs> okay, helmet of salvation and the shield of faith. So the sword we have to sharpen for me every hour. Then we have to keep the readiness, otherwise shyness comes. We feel people will laugh at us. So we feel we lose our dignity in front of our relatives. And here Jesus Christ lost all his dignity on the cross. Yes? 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 There are only three great injustices. Will you please write this down? Three injustices. I have determined to waste all my breath on rectifying these three injustices. One, Jesus Christ, the sinless one, innocent one, guiltless one, the perfect one, the most loving person, crucified unjustly. Great injustice. This hurts me so. How to rectify this injustice? Jesus, I will speak about this injustice to everybody. There are peripheral injustices in the executive, legislature and the judiciary and in the proletariat and the bourgeois. Everywhere there is injustice. There is not a man who has not done injustice to another man. But I have decided, I give my life for this, to speak about this great injustice done to Jesus Christ, the sinless one. His life was taken. How can we rectify this? One soul says, Yes, Lord Jesus, great injustice that I have mercy. One is the problem. Yes, it's great. It's Is 
Caesar, I find nothing wrong with him. Yet he sent him for crucifixion. Then he washed his hands. Can you think of a great injustice? I have said, I give the strength of my life. I give the sharpness of my brain to make this injustice come right. How does injustice come right? Let all of Sri Lanka, 21 million souls, accept Jesus Christ in my lifetime. In my lifetime. Will you make this the priority of your life? Then that injustice is rectified. Second great injustice. Multitudes don't receive him. What an injustice. I will spend all the breath of my life and all my time to correct that. Convince multitude. Persuade them. Plead with them. Please accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Please. Please. Don't go away without receiving him. Please. I, I go to drop Nathan in the play school at least once a week. And there are some uh, people come very well dressed. So I also go very well dressed like I'm going to work. I sometimes go in a tie and I meet some of my friends there. I put my best clothes on just to drop near them because young smart fathers are coming. All grandfathers who come there are not young and not smart but me. <laughs> they, 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 you know, they are quite old, you know. So now I start speaking to them. I have given them this card. I'm fully armed with cards, you know, my ammunition. Uh, this card and that card. Now that entire set Avoid me like the bubonic plague. <laughs> As I am coming, they look the other way. <laughs> but new parents have come. This year beginning, I am trying with them. You will ask me, don't you have any dignity? But I remember the one who lost his dignity on the cross. For, for me. I also feel shy. But I put it to the cross. Because I have determined this injustice. I will do what I can. I am encouraging you to do what you can to your oikos, your contact world. Final injustice. What's the first one? Jesus Christ, the sinless one, perfect one, being crucified like that. What's the second injustice? So many people in the world not accepting this. What's the third injustice? Great injustice. Those who know him, keep quiet. Those who know him, Keep quiet, day after day. Because of dignity, self-respect, no time, more important things to do. Let this not be so. Let us pray. Great battle, but we have a great salvation. Just, I want to skip some slides. Will you just, uh, and see the end of the battle. Will you just skip some slides? There will be a slide without color. Will you move on? Yeah. So, that's right. So, none righteous turned astray. Miss the mark, shortfall, transgress, trespass, indicted. But because of Jesus Christ, no more court case. You know, righteousness means the case against us is removed because we came and said, Father, forgive. No more court case in heaven. We are free. No more inside indictment. And because all these court cases that were against us is removed, no accusation. We don't accuse anybody. Our words free people. Are there some people, when they are coming to your home, you fortify them yourselves because you know they are going to dig up old cudgels, old hatchets, and you're all ready and armored. If possible, you close the door and set the door. But you know, if that person come, he will dig up the whole history. You know, your father, he, he actually, my father owned that land. You know, your father... And they'll start some accusation about somebody. No accusation in my heart. No indictment. No court case against me. Do you have that freedom tonight? Not to accuse. 